Ray, 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 Ray. You mind we call you Ray, Ray? Nah? All right, it's just Ray then. But, but Ray, Raymond, Raymond. Why didn't you listen to conventional wisdom? I don't know a living soul that thought you and Delicious would be a good idea. You two are as odd a couple as odd can get because she is the epitome of an attention slore and you seem to be a genuinely nice guy. A genuinely nice guy, guy, yeah. When I first heard Ray Santana was getting with Delicious, I said, I said, I said, delicious who? The stripper? The bitch from love and whatever? And yeah, yeah, that delicious. I said, nah, man, hell no. You know, and, 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 and like I said, against all conventional wisdom, all the signs are out there. Don't save her. She don't want to be saved. You can't turn a hoe into a housewife. What do you do, Ray? Huh, Ray? What do you wind up doing? You tried to turn a hoe into a housewife. And what has become of it all at this point, Ray? Now, a lot of us brothers are willing to give you a pass because we know due to the trauma-filled childhood that you had, you probably just weren't thinking straight. You missed out on a lot of girls. You spent anywhere between five, six, seven years in jail. At a very young age, and that robbed you of a lot of your innocence. So that's why I said brothers are willing to give you a pass, Ray. We just hope that after this, you learn your fucking lesson. We don't want to see you out here trapped up in this shit again. We told you. Now, you and her are going through a divorce and calculatedly, is that a word? Calculatedly? She calculatedly? Huh? The evening before you file for divorce, she puts out public statements in regards to your philandering, narcissistic ways. <laughs> of all people who call somebody a narcissist, right? She went on to talk about your cheating and narcissistic ways and tried to gaslight you and said that you had childhood trauma, Ray. She tried to gaslight you with something that we all already knew. That she knew when she met you. That she knew when you proposed to her and she accepted. She knew all of this. But like they say, hell hath no fury like a slore scorned, right? In one way, Ray, you dodged a bullet because you didn't procreate with her. So therefore, you're not going to have to pay any child support. Plus, she has three kids already, all three girls. Such a bad deal. You know, so you did at least get away with your genetic material. But you two have nothing in common. You know. No shared interest. Right? So what is delicious? Was delicious all of a sudden advocating for young boys being falsely accused and convicted and incarcerated? 
You know, did did anybody see Delicious taking up the cause? <laughs> huh? Because we all knew it was going to be a lifetime of fundraisers and, and annual get-togethers and political conferences for the survivors of the Central Park Five, right? We all knew that, right? You think Delicious is out there advocating for what happened to her soon-to-be ex-husband Ray Santana not to happen to any other black or brown boys without jumping to conclusions and being demonized by the mainstream media? Hmm? No, she about delicious business. You know what delicious business is, right? Slurring. Or slurring is delicious business. So you got away with it with whatever resources you have left. And, and, and if she got more money than you, I, I would suggest you tap into it. I, I doubt you got much money left, Ray. Yeah, I think it was 41 million y'all split between five of y'all and y'all include lawyer's fees, which is one third of that money. Brother, you may have walked away from it. Five, six million. That was what, 10, 12, 13 years ago. So I don't know how sound your investments were. You know, but that's on you, sir. But I'm going to tell y'all the real reason why Ray Santana and Delicious broke up. I'm going to tell y'all what makes Ray Santana and Delicious unequally yoked and why a relationship with them would never work. It's because... Ray Santana has what most men are not used to having in terms of over their woman in a relationship. And y'all know what that is. What does Raymond Santana have over delicious that men usually do not have over their women? Raymond Santana has the benefit of the doubt. And the moral high ground. He'll have everyone's sympathy and empathy no matter what happens. And that's usually a role reserved for a woman. No matter what happens between Ray Santana and Delicious, everyone's going to know it's delicious. No matter what. She can never be the victim. And I think that just became too much to bear because there was too much shit she wanted to do and get away with and enjoy stringing him along while everybody blames him. Oh, that man ain't shit. That man ain't shit. That man ain't shit. That man is Ray Santana. And everybody has a childhood connection to Ray Santana. Everybody has empathy and sympathy for Ray Santana. Nobody has sympathy and empathy for Delicious. So... Ray Santana will always have the benefit of the doubt over delicious. And she's probably sitting around. Oh, another CP5 conference. Oh, another, another, we got to go to another college and and, and talk on on regards of, of mass incarceration again. Oh, oh, 30 year. 30, oh, the 40 year anniversary. Isn't that coming up in 10 years? Oh, me, me, me. When are we going to do something for me? (laughs) That's why Ray Santana and Delicious split up. Now, that's all the time I have to dedicate to this subject. I'm out. Bunker TV.